Our next movie is named Date with an Angel, and this is no less than the third movie this fall about love and the supernatural. First, we got Made in Heaven with Timothy Hutton and Kelly McGillis falling in love up yonder. Then there was Hello Again with Shelley Long returning to life after being dead for a year. And now here's kind of a sweet movie about an ordinary guy who's engaged to get married, and when he wakes up after his bachelor party, there's a wounded angel in the swimming pool. That's Michael E. Knight as the bachelor and a beautiful French newcomer named Emmanuel Bayard as the angel. At first, he doesn't think this can possibly be a real angel. It's got to be a dream. The guy's girlfriend is played by Phoebe Cates, and do you think she believes her fiancé is playing around with a real innocent angel? No way. So, you want to play tough? I can play plenty tough, sister. After lots of dumb slapstick, the movie gets sweet and romantic again at the end. I think it's better that you just go back to where you belong. I've got to go back, too. By now, Patty must be... Yeah, I know. It's all the more reason for you to leave. down here those are a common occurrence the most impressive thing about this whole movie is the way that Emmanuel Bayard is actually able to play a convincing angel at least I was convinced and if it's not an angel then at least it's certainly a beautiful blonde with wings on some kind of a basic level I liked her performance in fact I think you can even guess what that basic level probably was sexual and I liked a lot of the details of her relationship with Michael E Knight which is basically pure and idealistic no matter what it looks like to other people, like Mr. Siskel here. Or yourself. What I could have done without in this movie were all the details about the scandalized parents, the best buddies who want to exploit the angel, and Phoebe Cates playing dumb all the time as the girlfriend, when actually she's a very intelligent actress. This had good stuff in the movie from time to time. Emmanuel Bayard is a major new star, kind of a teenage Catherine Deneuve, but thumbs down. Oh, I think you're being so kind. I think this movie is garbage. I mean, flat out, it'll be one of the my worst movies of the year, I have a feeling. First of all, I, it's, it's a simple rip-off of Splash, only instead of fins, uh, you got wings. I did not think she was convincing. I didn't think it was magical. I didn't think the characters surrounding her were interesting. All she does is chirp. Uh, at least uh, the uh, mermaid had to do some interesting things, eating lobster. This woman does nothing interesting. She just <laughs> chirps a little bit. Phoebe Cates is an interesting actress. I've never seen her more boring. She plays a whiny, snotty brat, and even that's dull. I liked nothing about this picture. You must have been in a very good mood. I see. Well, if I'd been the script doctor on the picture, I would have recommended that Emmanuel Bayard eat some lobster, and then it would have been a better film. Okay. She is a beautiful woman, Gene. Now, so come what? On. There are lots of beautiful women in the world. There are not that many. Yeah. There, there are, are not that many. There are not. Uh, there are a few movies Isn't that are, there, are as bad as this one. Isn't there Go some on. kind of a basic human level upon which you can no, respond to yeah, beauty of, of this nature? Yes. Without having to just always be a critic all the time and see how dumb the movie is. Yes. Isn't there something pretty to look at there? Yes. And then the, uh, then the movie starts rolling. Take a still picture of her. Don't look at the film.